Hey everyone. Um, just doing an update. I haven't done one in a couple weeks. Um, I don't know for sure how many weeks I am post-op at this point, but I think it's around 34, 35. Last week I was 8 months post-op, so I guess 8 months plus 1 week post-op is what I am this week. Um, as of Friday, I weighed um, 261, which is down... I think it's about four pounds since my last weigh-in, which was two weeks ago. Um, so the week of Thanksgiving, I didn't lose any. Um, and then last week, I lost the four pounds. So um, that's fine with me. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanksgiving was fine. I didn't. I didn't really overindulge. Um, did a little bit more grazing than I would have normally, but. It was good all around, and got to spend time with family. Um, I have a lot to talk about, but I don't know if I want to shove it into this video. I guess I'll talk until I shouldn't anymore, and then maybe I'll make another video another day. I uh, I went to the doctor's office. Um, I went to a different doctor. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know I went to a doctor I did not like last time. And um, I went to the doctor I saw last year about this time um, who recommended I have the surgery to begin with and that's Dr. Dr. Grace. She's very nice. Um, she just lis she listens to what you say you know and goes from there so um, I had my my eight month post-op blood work and all looked good there. Um, we talked about a goal weight for me um, in the long run and um, you know, we were just kind of playing around with BMI and stuff, and she had said um, that she would be happy if I hit 200 pounds, which would put me um, out of the morbidly obese category and out of the obese category into just being overweight. Um, but even with that, I mean, it wouldn't I wouldn't be very much overweight. Um, and then she said a low goal, like maybe long term, um, would be like around 180, which I think 174 or something like that puts me in the normal range. But um, from her perspective, it was like, you know, even if you go from, you're going from super morbidly obese to being overweight, and that is a huge accomplishment in itself, and those last 20 to 30 pounds um, they will help you in the long run, but you've already kind of done all the damage control, um, the major damage control. So um, I'm going to stick with my, my goal weight of 200 pounds for now and, and kind of adjust that as time goes on. Um, I've also kind of set some short-term short goals for myself, which I haven't done um, up to this point because I just really I haven't really known what I was capable of, how the weight loss would come. Um, but I want to be 250 pounds by January 1st, which gives me a little over um, three weeks to lose um, 11 pounds. So I think that's really doable. Um, I would be thrilled to be 250 pounds by January 1st. That would make me very happy. Um, another goal I set for myself is to be 221.4 by the time I hit one year post-op, which is March. Um, March 27th, subsequ subsequently, uh, the same day as the South, or not South Carolina, the um, Pennsylvania meet and greet, which I am 95% sure I'll be attending. Yay! Um, so that's my goal, and that'll mean that I will be down 150 pounds if I hit that mark. The 221.4 is exactly 150 pounds lost since my um, my surgery on March 27th, 2006. Eight. So that's my that's my other goal. Um, that is definitely a doable goal, but I really need to up it. You know, I need to need to take every day and make the most of it as far as exercise, eating properly. Um, so I'm kind of I'm I'm happy. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start that and um, try to hit my goal. So this week, if I calculate correctly, I need to lose at least two pounds. Um, 
to kind of average out to 11 pounds over the next few weeks. So I think that's doable. I uh, went to the gym this morning, even though I had my holiday Christmas party for work last night and uh, drank a little bit and definitely ate too much. But I made myself go to the gym this morning because of that. So i uh, just doing some damage control. My hair is ridiculous. Um, it's been kind of weird lately. Um, I've gotten a lot of... Up until this point, I haven't really... I mean, people ask about my weight loss, but for the most part, people could just kind of watch and say, hey, you're looking good. But I've had, like, in the last couple weeks... Um, several people from work, like, actually come up to me and say, how much weight have you lost? Um, and, like, really are, are curious about it. Like, kind of, I think it's more of like a, I don't know, like, look at the freak, and she's lost so much weight, how many pounds, I wonder. But not, not in a bad way, just people are like, wow, I know she's lost a lot of weight, I really, I wonder how much it was. So um, a lot of people have been asking, and then um, at, at our Christmas party last night, gosh, several people, and people that I really just don't talk to on a normal day-to-day basis um, were coming up to me and saying, you know, you look great, and whatever you're doing, it's working, and it's just strange. I just, it felt really, it feels really good that people are noticing now, and that I've come far enough for them to feel comfortable saying I've 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 done a good job, um, and I went to my old job. Um, I used to work at an animal hospital, and I went there um, because they were across the street from my doctor's office, and I saw a couple doctors there and the technicians, and they were they did the same thing, and I guess. I guess I just didn't realize that I looked so much different before. I think I still have some body dysmorphia going on because sometimes I I look in the mirror and I think I look exactly the same and um, then I'll see a picture of myself and I'm like, I don't look the same anymore. But um, the the mind seeing the mirror, there's a disconnect there. I think um, the mind is more powerful than we think when it comes to the reflection because... um, I've certainly experienced some of that very, very bizarre dysmorphia, and uh, I hope that my mind catches up soon so I can fully appreciate, you know, how far I've come and and what I, how far I need to go, you know, have a really good grasp on where I am um, and what would make me happy to be at. So, um, I, it's it's a struggle, and the weight comes off so fast. There's no wonder why our minds can't comprehend it fully. We've been the same way for so long, and we've had this this image of ourselves in our head for so long that when you have kind of, I mean, in retrospect, a very quick change um, to your physical appearance, it's very hard for your mind to grasp it and and make the proper connection and reflection. So um, dealing with that a little bit, but... I just I felt really good. I felt very blessed um, to have a really good support system and people who um, really care about me. And I I just I I don't know what to do with that. I really wish I could do more for um, other people. I feel like I'm going to explode with all the thanks I I owe to them and and you guys. And um, I just really. I'm really grateful, and I I was driving home from my party last night, and all I could think about is how lucky I am, and nothing, none of the, you know, silly stuff that makes me upset, or none of that mattered, because I knew that in the end, like, I really have been blessed when it comes to support and friends and family, um, that I couldn't possibly, possibly have anything better, so... I know I do that a lot, but thank you guys so much for your support. I super duper appreciate it. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for this video today. Um, this has probably been really long. I don't have a timer 